In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create an anime eye texture and I'm going to cover some basic fundamentals of how you can do that. I'm not going to create the entire texture though, but if you don't want to go through the entire hard work of creating it, I've already created 10 super high resolution procedural textures for you and it's available on Gumroad for you to be able to buy. It's only $10, so $1 per texture and I think that is really really cheap for the amount of work that i had to put into it so i would highly encourage you to go ahead and check it out but don't worry i'm going to show you how you can create one of your own as well so in order to do that let's add an icosphere and just add one subdivision in it and i'm going to do right click shade smooth create our texture let's move to the shading tab and here we're going to go into the top view click on new and just delete the principal bsdf let's add a texture coordinate node and we're going to use the u UV coordinate of our texture coordinate node. After this, I'm going to add a length node and that will give me a gradient here. And let's also add a add node and let's make sure that the X and the Y value are set to minus 0.5. And I'll tell you exactly why, because we are looking for this dark circle that you see right here. We want to make sure that we use that as our eye. Let's make the black circle a little bit more contrasty for that. I'm going to add a color ramp and I will switch it from linear to constant and let's bring the white slider all the way here. Now you see that the black circle is not really looking like a circle. It is an oval shape and it's also placed incorrect. And that's because we have not unwrapped this mesh. So I'm going to go to UV editing and I'll select all the top part of my mesh and going to do U and click on project from view. So now you'll see a circle like this. Click on A to select all the faces and make sure that it's in the center of your plane here. So I'm just going to sure that aligns correctly. Now the way you can make sure that it's exactly in the center is just line this to this line and line this section here to this line. So let's do that. G, Y maybe and uh, let's make sure this is also correct so g x and now our circle is exactly in the center now before we even get into creating more details on our eye we need to make sure that we create some basic settings here right so we already know that we can manipulate the position of our eye now if you just duplicate this and switch it to multiply and make sure it's at one you can now move these sliders to just manipulate the size of your eye if you duplicate it again and switch it to cross product now you can use this value so make sure that z is set to one in this one and you can just use this value to rotate your eyes you might have to take a little bit more effort but that's the only way for now that i know that you can use to rotate stuff right after this you can also add a normal multiply node and make sure it's set to one and you can just use this to control the overall scale of your eye. So let's take all of this and hit control G to add it into a new group because we're going to need these nodes again and again. And I don't want to keep recreating five nodes every time I want to do that. Let's plug this into the first one. Let's name it position and plug this into the second one. We're going to name it the vector scale. And let's plug this into this and we're going to name it rotation. And the last one can just be a normal scale. Okay, so once we have this ready, now this can be our primary mask. So we can just use this to define the bounds of our eye. Now let's create a gradient. So I'm going to duplicate this and let's also duplicate the color ramp. Let's take it, plug this in here. And now I'm going to add a mixed RGB node. Make sure that this is set into the factor of the mixed RGB node. Let's duplicate this and let's make sure that the mask is set in the factor of this mixed RGB node. And let's take the results of the first one and plug it into A. B should be all the way up to white. Now you can use both of these colors to create your gradient, right? And if you don't see anything, that's because it's too wide. So let's bring this in. And if you know most of the anime eye have a gradient, but that is set somewhat like this, right? So you can use the Y position to bring it here. And now the gradient look very 
very sharp very hard so let's switch this from constant to b spline and let's bring the gradient somewhat like this again you can manipulate this and make it more of something that you will like now that we have the eye gradient let's add a pupil so for that we're going to duplicate the mix rgb node again make sure that this is set to black and let's duplicate these two node again and let's plug this into the factor now everything goes black and that's because it's we need to change the white to black and black to white and if you just move the black slider a little bit and you have your pupil in the center that's awesome so let's duplicate this again and just make sure that it's set to b instead of a and for the factor i'm going to duplicate the pupil thing again and i'm going to plug this into the factor now everything's looking weird and that's because we need to make some changes so i'm gonna add another slider which would be a white one and let's move this here or switch this to black so let's move the white slider here and make sure it covers our color all the way and just move this here and we have a border now there is a big problem that you guys don't see is that if i increase the scale it goes all the way outside our eye borders and we don't really want that right we want to be able to control a way where you can also scale things but it should not go outside the eye border well it's very easy you can just simply duplicate this again and just take this color ramp output and plug it into the factor and just make sure that the b value is white now if you scale anything it doesn't go outside the border regardless of how big you scale it and basically that's that's about it that's exactly how you create an eye you just keep layering one detail about the other using this fundamentals and again if you don't want to go through this exercise i have already gone through the hard work for you there are 10 amazing textures that i've created that should cover all those possible anime needs that you will have you can download them only for 10 dollars and you currently are getting 10 percent discount on it the links to download it it's in the description i have also added a coupon code make sure you use it it's only valid for the first 100 users and and I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.